So as a comic myself, obviously Robin Williams was a big hero to me. I grew up watching Robin and he brought me a lot of joy in my life and I really appreciated his work and really admired him as a man. Um, and I'm really sad to see him go. You know, spreading humor, in my opinion, is one of the most noble things you can do. Bringing joy to people's lives, making them happy, and Robin Williams was a king of that. He was a master. And he really deserves to have his life celebrated because he really brought a lot of good to the world. But unfortunately today, a bunch of Christians have decided to take their assholishness to a different level. And they're going on the internet and spreading that Robin Williams is in hell right now, burning and suffering for eternity because he committed suicide. Because that's what the all-loving, all-knowing God does to you if you commit suicide. He tortures you forever. And you know my first instinct is to get mad and get pissed off to tell them what fucktards they are, to scream at them, to flip them off, to cuss at them. But no, I'm not going to do that. You know why? Because instead, I want to thank you Christians for this. I want to thank you for spreading this bullshit on the internet. I want to thank you for telling people that Robbie Williams is burning in hell. Because every time you guys go out there and spread this ignorance, you drive people away from you. They see you for the assholes you are. They see you for the utter and complete shitheads that you truly are. And as someone who's looking forward to seeing this ignorance destroyed, is looking forward to seeing religion eradicated from the face of the earth forever, God, you guys are so awesome. Please continue to do this. You shitheaded Christians are helping my cause more than anything I could ever do would help it. You dumbasses are like the atheist's best friend, so please continue this shit. To be honest, I ain't even mad at you. You're actually doing a really good thing by eradicating your own religion. And I saw on Fox News that Shepard Smith was calling Robbie Williams a coward for committing suicide. You know, I actually used to think that. I actually used to think that committing suicide was a very cowardly act. But I don't think that anymore. I don't think you should commit suicide. I think suicide really is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And I think life is amazing. In fact, the closest thing to a miracle I can think of is the fact that I exist, period. That's fucking awesome. However, it's your life. And sometimes life can be bad, man. Sometimes life can be sad and depressing. Sometimes this world can beat you down. Sometimes this world can fucking suck. And only you know how much of this shit you can take. So it's your life, man. When you want to check out, that's your business. It's nobody's fucking business but your own. Believe me, I'm really sorry to see Robin go, but I'm even more happy that he lived to begin with. I'm even more happy that he was on the earth long enough to become the legend he is. I'm not sad because it's over. I'm happy because it happened to begin with. And hell, you know what? If Robin Williams does turn out somehow to be in hell, then when I die, I'm going to go to hell and I'm going to rescue him, exactly like he did for his wife and what dreams may come. In fact, if Robin is in hell, he probably won't want to be rescued by me anyway. He'll be hanging out with all the cool people, like Christopher Hitchens, Darwin, Jimi Hendrix, all of us bad motherfuckers going to be down there partying for eternity, and you motherfucking Christians ain't invited. Fuck you. So thank you, Robin. Thank you for all the joy you brought in my life and the lives of others. You will be missed, but your memes will live on forever. And that's really the important part. Logic. I'm driving in my car. I turn on the radio. I pull you a little closer. You say no. You say you don't like it I say you're a wire But when we get It's like fire